it's not quite in, in Tesla's primary mission direction of accelerating sustainable energy, but uh, it is a an extremely useful thing that we can do for the world, which is to make a useful humanoid robot. Work will become optional, so it's not fun, you know, necessarily. Like, if you're washing dishes all day, it's like, eh, you know, even if you really like washing dishes, you really want to do it for eight hours a day every day. Uh, probably not. So, um, and then there's, like, dangerous work, and basically, if it's dangerous, boring, uh, it has, like, p- potential for repetitive stress in- injury, that kind of thing, um, then that's really where humanoid robots would add the most value initially. Um, so, that's what we're aiming for, is is to, um, for, for the humanoid robots to do, do jobs that people don't, don't voluntarily want to do. Um, and, and then that we'll have to pair that obviously with some kind of universal base, basic income in the future. I do try to think like, pretty far into the future, but I haven't really thought that far into the future with the, with the Tesla bot, make the, have the robot be intelligent enough to interact in a sensible way with the environment. Um, so you need real, real world AI and you need to be very good at, um, manufacturing, which is a very a hard problem. Tesla is very good at manufacturing and also, uh, has the real world AI. So making the humanoid robot work is, uh, basically means d- developing custom, uh, motors and sensors, uh, that, that are different from what a car would use. Um, but we, we've, we're, also, we have, um, I think we have the, the, the best expertise in developing advanced electric motors and power electronics. So it, it just has to be for a humanoid robot application, not a car. Mm-hmm.